Some sharks have an eerie ability to spit out their stomach and then pull it back into place. Well, that would be handy. Most sharks eat huge amounts of food, but the problem is they can't digest everything they've gulped down. So they need a way to get rid of such stuff as sea turtle shells and beaks, bird feathers and bones, lobster claws and whatnot. And then these amazing creatures willingly barf up their whole stomach, along with all the contents. After the shark is done, it pulls its main digestive organ back in. And the entire process usually takes no more than a second. Some shark species, like great whites or mako, have a special eye-warming system. Their retina heats up their eyes and brain. This not only helps them detect movement better, but also improves resolution. As for the mako shark, this species often travels vertically across different temperatures. Unlike most people with only one movable jaw, sharks can freely move both their lower and upper jaws. This allows them to get a better grip on their meal and chew it up faster and more thoroughly. That's comforting. Sharks give birth to a large number of little ones at once. It depends on the species, of course, but let's say the blue shark is famous for producing more than 130 pups at a time. Great white sharks have a more powerful bite than most jungle cats. A 20-foot-long underwater hunter can produce a force of more than 4,000 pounds per square inch. And that's a bite four times stronger than that of a lion or tiger. People with their measly 150 to 200 psi bites aren't in the running whatsoever. Swell sharks defend themselves by swallowing huge amounts of water. Then the shark's body becomes twice its normal size, and this scares potential danger away. Sharks can grow more than 50,000 teeth during their lifetime, but not all of their teeth are the same. The strongest and most massive ones are at the front, and those closer to the back are smaller and not so powerful. But if the front teeth are damaged, these weaker ones can replace them. It's possible because sharks' teeth aren't as deeply rooted as humans and can move. Shark skin has the same feel as sandpaper. It's made of teeny, teeth-like scales. They point towards the animal's tail. This helps to reduce the friction that occurs when sharks move through the water. Whale sharks have extremely thick skin. In some places on their body, it can be 6 inches thick. It's one of the toughest in the animal world. Scientists have to make loads of effort if they want to get this creature's blood sample. Sharks have an incredible sense of smell. But besides that, they use one more sense to detect other animals. There are special pores around their head, near the nostrils, and under the snout. Those are special organs, something like second sight. Every creature generates a tiny electrical field. Thanks to the pores, sharks can spot these electrical fields and figure out where other animals are. Sharks are incredibly sharp-eared. They can hear their potential meal from 3,000 feet away. They can also catch low-frequency sounds, like the ones produced by a fish's contracting muscle tissue. Sharks have been around for more than 400 million years. It means they've lived through four out of five mass extinctions. This makes them way older than Mount Everest, humans, dinosaurs, and even trees. These creatures go back to the period when coral reefs were just beginning to form. Some shark species can jump out of the water, like the great white shark or the basking shark. They're known to leap for more than 8 feet up into the air. Thanks to this maneuver, they can catch such animals as seals or seabirds. But unless you're in South Africa, you aren't likely to see sharks jumping out of the water. Shark skeletons are made of muscle and cartilage, which are lighter and twice less dense than bones. This makes sharks more flexible, which allows them to make sharp turns when they're chasing other animals. Hammerhead sharks have a weirdly shaped head for a reason. Thanks to it, these creatures have incredible 360-degree vision. Their eyes are tilted a bit forward, and it allows them to have an overlapping field of view. The goblin shark's terrifying jaws are attached to elastic ligaments. They can unfold from the animal's snout for up to 3 inches. It allows the animal to catapult its mouth forward to catch other marine creatures. Sharks don't sleep as you do. Some species have to keep swimming all the time. Otherwise, water will stop flowing through their gills and they won't be able to breathe. Others do rest, but they don't enter an unconscious state. They just go into special rest periods. These creatures don't have eyelids. That's why their eyes remain always open and their pupils monitor their surroundings. They also keep their mouth open so that the water can pass through their gills. Sharks can travel remarkably long distances without needing any rest. 
all thanks to their bizarre sleeping pattern. For example, great whites can swim distances of more than 2,000 miles without stopping to eat or rest. How come these creatures don't starve? They draw on the fat stored in their livers. By the way, this organ can compose up to a third of the animal's body weight. Contrary to popular belief, sharks do not and cannot swim in reverse. Their tails propel them forward, and their pectoral fins help them to keep their balance and turn. It means that, anatomically, these animals can't move in any direction other than forward. Sharks have no vocal cords. They can't produce sounds to communicate with one another or express their emotions. That's why they have to use body movements, like twisting their bodies or flipping over. Sharks live in all of the world's oceans, but several species also inhabit freshwater rivers and lakes. For instance, bull sharks have been found in tropical rivers. They're also known to be able to swim between fresh and salt water. The smallest shark out there is the dwarf lantern shark. This unique creature doesn't grow longer than 8 inches. But the shark makes up for its tiny size in other ways. For example, some of its organs emit light. And since the creature lives in the shallow waters, this helps to camouflage it in the rays of sunlight. Blue sharks eat a lot, often more than they need. Some of this food can remain undigested for weeks till it's needed for energy. Sharks have something that looks similar to a tongue. But this organ is called the basheal. It's the front section of the cartilage that goes from the shark's chest to its mouth. It doesn't move and is pretty much useless. The so-called tongue doesn't take part in the process of feeding. It isn't covered in taste buds. Its only real use might be that it supports some of the bones connecting the shark's gills. There are hundreds of shark species in the world, more precisely, around 500. Some of them are pretty bizarre. Just look at the goblin, basking, or cookie-cutter shark. All these sharks vary in size, from several inches to dozens of feet long. They also live in absolutely different environments. Tiger sharks eat whatever they can get their jaws around. Some of the weirdest things they've munched on are video cameras, bags of money, license plates from almost any US state, dog leashes, <laughs> you name it. Each whale shark has a unique pattern on its skin. These spots and stripes can be used to identify individual sharks, just like fingerprints are used to identify people. The blunt-nosed six-gill shark can dive to a depth as great as five Empire State Buildings. Baby sharks are called pups. When they get born or hatch, they are already fully nourished. And if they choose to swim away from their mama shark, they don't need to hunt for food for at least several weeks. Uh-oh, did somebody say baby shark?